So this problem is telling us that we're going to s simplify this fraction into a single trig function with no fractions. And that might seem like a bit of a tall order at first, but it gives us a hint. Try converting all trig functions into sine or cosine using the reciprocal or quotient identities. And that's a great hint. Really, anytime I see secant, uh, cosecant, tangent, whatever, if it's not sine or cosine, my first instinct is just make it into those things. So let's start rewriting this thing. And the top really has not much to do. It's already a sine of phi plus one, but the bottom needs a little work. That is cosecant. And if you remember your quotient identity, no, 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 your reciprocal identity on this guy, cosecant is just one over sine of phi. Okay, well, looks like I made it worse, right? It's now it's a compound fraction. But if you remember how to clear denominators using a crazy one, I'm going to multiply this by sine phi over sine phi. And that's going to get rid of that sine phi in the denominator down here that's uh, so bad, right? I don't like that thing. So let's see how we go about this now. I'm going to multiply in and I get sine squared phi plus sine phi on the top of the fraction, right? I took one multiplication there and another one right here. And next, I'm going to have multiplication on the bottom. So move over. That's going to be this term right here and this term right here. It's going to be sine phi plus, well, sine times one over sine is just one. Okay, so that's great. Now, in terms of getting this as a single fraction, I need to keep doing some work. And as I'm looking at it, I see, wait a minute, there's something I can factor out on the top. I think I can factor out a sine of phi on the top, just like we would GCFs in simpler problems, right? As I look at that problem, what I see is x squared plus x. That's what this is right there. So I factored out an x or a sine phi, and what's left behind is sine phi plus one. And remember, it's all over sine phi plus one. So now I have two equal factors right there. Those cross out and they simplify to just sine phi. That's my answer. Okay. So important ideas here. Remember, change anything that's not sine or cosine into those things using the reciprocal or quotient identities, and then just work with your basic algebra skills of factoring. And you can often simplify this down quite a ways.